gardeners in Zone 7 are fortunate. When selecting perennials for the garden, they can focus more narrowly on aesthetics than can gardeners in the far north or the deep south. The former are plagued by cold winters, the latter by intense summer heat. This limits them in their plant selection, as many plants dislike one or the other or both of those extremes. Zone 7 gardeners reside comfortably between the two extremes and are freer to select the loveliest flowering plants to give their gardens color throughout spring and summer. Your choices include not only classic perennials but also bulb plants and ground covers, as well as ornamental grasses and other foliage plants. Number 1. Mealy Cup Sage Mealy Cup Sage, which must be treated as an annual in the north, is cold hardy in Zone 7. Standing 18 to 24 inches tall, this perennial has striking blue flowers and is useful, for example, in red-white and blue color schemes. For the best displays, deadhead the flowers, both to keep the plant fresh looking and to promote additional blooming. Number 2. English Lavender As a Mediterranean plant, all that lavender asks of you is to give it plenty of sunshine and soil that drains sharply. It likes its ground on the dry side. Boggy soil would spell death for it. Technically a subshrub, and often classified as an herb because of its wonderful fragrance, so popular in potpourri, treat it as a perennial flower. It stands two to three feet tall, so if you mass it together, you can create an eye-catching display. Number 3. Black-Eyed Susan Black-Eyed Susan is common but has an uncommonly lovely flower. This long-blooming perennial stands 2 to 3 feet tall. Native plant lovers in North America will want to give it a spot in the native perennial sun garden. Black-Eyed Susan is drought-tolerant, so irrigating it won't take up much of your time, but it does spread. You may end up occasionally having to pull it out of areas where you don't want it growing. Number 4. Canna Lily Canna Lily isn't a true lily, but its flowers have all the flamboyance we associate with classic lilies. The Tropicana type gives you the bonus of variegated leaves. Canna grows from a rhizome. A subtropical and tropical plant, you will have to dig the rhizomes in fall to overwinter them indoors in Zone 7. Canna can reach as much as 6 feet in height, tall enough to function as a summertime hedge or as the backdrop for shorter plants. Number 5. Crown Imperial Whereas Canna is a tender perennial and shines in summer, Crown Imperial is a cold-hardy perennial in Zone 7. It gives you great color on a tall plant, 3 feet, in spring. It grows from a bulb, which should be planted in fall. It can be short-lived, but at least pests tend to leave it alone. This is probably due to its skunk-like odor, which repels deer, as well as smaller pests, such as voles. Some great landscape plants come up short in the aroma department, so think twice before declining to try Crown Imperial just because of its smell. Number 6. Butterfly Weed or Asclepias tuberosa Asclepias tuberosa is a butterfly magnet, but it is also a lovely plant in its own right. Mass several plants together whether you want to attract butterflies with it or just to appreciate its beauty more fully. This perennial stands around 1 to 2 feet tall. It is drought tolerant once established and may even spread naturally by seed if you don't remove the seed pods after flowering. Number 7. Hollyhock or Alcea rosea. A traditional cottage garden plant, hollyhock is another stately specimen. A row of hollyhocks growing along a white picket fence forms a classic rustic design. The six-foot stalk is studded with flowers that cling close to it, with minimal foliage to get in the way. This makes hollyhock the ultimate tall, skinny border plant. It can be a short-lived perennial or a biennial plant. Give it sun, water, and organic matter, and watch it grow. 
Well that's it for today's video guys. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can turn on the notification bell to get more latest videos. See you in the next interesting topic.